My description of my father, my dad, Bishop McLaughlin, is simply this. In my opinion, he's a present day renaissance man. Um, additionally, he's loving, he's kind. He is the bishop over the Potter's House in Jacksonville, Florida. He's also the co-founder of New Vision International Ministries, and he is our granddad. Words cannot describe uh, our granddad. We call him Granddad Bishop. Bishop McLaughlin. My spiritual grandfather, defender of the gospel, not afraid to put his hand to the plow and do the work of Jesus Christ. Amen. Bishop Von McLaughlin, he's a, a bishop in the Lord's Church. He's a friend. He's a, a visionary um, for the 21st century. Funny, humorous, and great to have as a covering. He's an inspirational leader, my homeboy, and like, Somebody that many different people can look up to. Like, I didn't know him that well, but once I met him, I was like, yo, this is cool. I can get with him. That's why we love him so much because he's so real and he don't um, he don't hold back on punches. He give it to you raw. That's how Bishop McLaughlin do it. Um, he, he also smokes. <laughs> we looking forward to that word. You know Bishop gives And the smoking. Yes. <laughs> You know, and the smoking. You know, you know, granddad smokes people. You and know, the so, smoking. So he don't play that. He will rebuke you, but he will come right back and love you. He's definitely stern. Um, he has a compassionate and soft side to him as well. A man of steel and velvet. I don't know anyone as wise as him besides my spiritual father, and he's an amazing man. He has an awesome sense of humor, and his love is um, it's just unbounding. It's just awesome. What she said, what she said, what she said. Hi, granddaddy, how you feel? All right, kids. Do you know who Bishop McLaughlin is? Yes. Who is he? Okay, who is he, Jordan? I'm looking for um, some funny jokes. I'm looking for laughter, humor. What does he look like? I don't know. Handsome. He's handsome. Nice. Does he wear nice clothes? I think he is a funny man. Um, I'm telling you, he can be funny too, comical. He can keep you laughing and also smoke you at the same time. <laughs> He's one of the funniest men I've ever met in my entire life. I mean, he will crack you up, then he would come right back after you had your laughing, splitting scenes, and then say something serious to just cut you and just make you think and just, you know, bring the sobriety back to the situation. He's the individual directly responsible for my maturity inadvertently through Bishop Calhoun, one who pours into our bishop. Um, he's an encourager, he's an equipper. He's giving, he's one of the most compassionate men I've ever met outside of my husband. One of the most dynamic, impactful, great men of our generation. We love him so very much. Uh, just thank you, Bishop, for being the man that you are. Thank you for listening to God and doing God's work, Father, for our, our covering our bishop. And I'm telling you, my life has never been the same listening to his messages. We love you. We love Lady Narlene, our spiritual grandmother. We love her. We love her too. Because without, without, without her, you know, there is no him. There is no him. <laughs> love and, you know, you. without God, there is no them. One of the things that I do admire about him is love for Lady Narlene, and it shows through our bishop. Bishop Calhoun, how he loves Lady Sharon, and it just trickled down. There's not enough words to say who Bishop Paul McLaughlin really is, but I thank God that he's in my life. Like as I started with, he's a present day Renaissance man. And Dad, I love you, God bless you, and that's it. Bishop, we were blown away by the gesture of you uh, doing all of the traveling that you did to come here. I know on Thursday night you were in South Carolina and you traveled extensively around not only the country but around the world. And to make a step here to celebrate our 14th year anniversary blesses and warms all of our hearts. Uh, the message on Friday was powerful and absolutely overwhelming. Here is the revelation of Romans 7 and for you tonight because it's going across your head. I want you to know that the foxhole is a hole that you dig yourself. 
So I want you to know that you dig your own foxhole. And just like many of you in here tonight, I wish I can get this across to you. We are in our foxholes. We are dug in, but we don't realize that it's not over. It's simply our fighting position. You're the one that lied. You're the one that made the bad decision. You made the wrong choice. You walked out of the marriage or the situation, but it is now your fighting position. Some of you are in a hole. You're in a hole financially. You're in a hole spiritually, but it is not a place for you to die. It is your fighting position so when all hell breaks loose you've got to see what God has done for you you don't turn and run but you dig in and fight and so this morning you know you're a father you're a spiritual father you don't have to do anything but be you and release the word of the Lord this is our 14th year as you know uh, we've done this together you've been there for us every single step of the way I looked at some memorabilia with pictures of, of you and, and at each step of the way, at each banner, the year of transformation, the year of release, you were always there, you and Lady Narlene, and, and we want to say thank you. Words will never suffice for what you've done and for what you're doing, but today as you come, I just want you to release whatever you have in your heart. Uh, this is a year of double. And 14 signifies two seasons of perfection, double. And God is measuring out a double portion to this ministry and a double portion to you. And we love you. We honor you. We thank God for your participation in this 14th anniversary. May the power, the presence of the Holy Spirit be with you as you release the word of God on this day. In Jesus' name, amen.